Hi, this is Dr. Subhatra. In today's session, I am going to discuss about the properties of hardened concrete. This is the overview of the contents what I am going to discuss today. Concrete is one of the most commonly used building material. It is a composed, it is a composite material which is made of uh, aggregate, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, sand and water. So it is a versatile material that can be easily mixed in the dry state and then water can be added to it and we can use it for uh, special needs uh, in uh, various shapes also. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of concrete? Uh, the major advantages are we will be able to cast it so that we can get it in different shapes. It is economical, it is durable. Uh, durable means the life of the structure is more. Then it is fire resistance, energy efficient and we can fabricate it in on site also. What is the major disadvantage? It has low tensile strength, low ductility, volume instability and low strength to weight ratio. As the dead load is more, when compared to the dead load, the strength is lesser. Uh, in order to counteract the uh, lower tensile strength of the concrete, we are incorporating uh, steel into the concrete and making it as a reinforced one. What are the properties of hardened concrete? So, testing of hardened concrete uh, plays an important role in controlling and uh, confirming the quality of cement concrete works. It has to be tested to know the strength of concrete at 28 days for, the, for each desired grade. Say for example, if the grade of concrete is M20, the compressive strength of the concrete cube uh, should give the uh, value as a 20 Newton per mm square when it is tested under compression testing machine. Then the systematic testing of raw materials, fresh concrete and hardened concretes are inseparable part of any quality control program. For each and every quality control program, we have to test all these materials so that we can achieve the higher efficiency of the material used and the performance of concrete also we can give the greater assurance to that in case of both strength and durability. So, these methods should be simple, direct and also it should be convenient to apply. Of all these, compressive strength is the most important property of concrete. Above the mentioned hardened concrete properties are, uh, among all them, compressive strength is the most important because the concrete is strong in compression and weak in tension. So, what affects the concrete strength? See here, this is the strength of concrete. Here, uh, all the aggregate uh, qualities are mentioned. Surface characteristics of the aggregate, its chemical composition, its concentration, its particle size, its modulus of elasticity, all contribute to the strength of concrete. And on the right hand side, it has given cement types, type of cement, age of the paste, curing condition, what is the admixture, what about the gel structure, about the degree of hydration, then uh, comes the water cement ratio, moisture content, porosity. So all the arrow marks are falling in the center portion that is the strength of concrete. So these are the uh, factors which affects the concrete strength. So strength of concrete uh, main, mainly depends upon um, the water cement ratio and the degree of compaction. See how this compressive strength is found. The specimen is cast, is prepared, cured. It may be in the shape of cubical, cylindrical or prismatic uh, specimens. It is subjected to compression. S see here, this is a cube. It is subjected to, from the top, uh, compressive stress is given. Because of this compressive stress, the shape of the specimen becomes a barrel and uh, cracks will get formed. So the size of the specimen what uh, we will be usually uh, doing in our lab is 150 by 150 by 150 mm cube. Okay, this is the size of the cube normally we adopt in our lab. The formula for finding the compressive strength is load by area. P is the load and A is the area. So the unit is Newton per mm square. 
for uh, making the cube the mold is uh, inner side of the mold is oiled for uh, so that it will be easy to remove this 150 mm cube is filled by means of three layers and each layer is uh, uh, compacted with a tamping rod of 25 uh, blows for this cube uh, we don't want any capping material uh, in case of cylinder, the size is 150 by 300 mm size cylinder. Here also filling uh, is done by means of uh, three layers and each layer is given uh, compaction of about 25 blows by means of the tamping rod. See here, this uh, cylinder, it needs a capping at the top. How you will find the tensile strength? Tensile strength is by means of two methods. One is direct method and another one is indirect method. In direct method, we have uh, many difficulties. So, placing the uh, cylindrical specimen in an erect position, holding the specimen is a uh, big problem. Without introducing stress on the sides of the specimen, it is difficult to hold the specimen in a uh, particular position. And then uh, applying the load without eccentricity is also difficult. So this direct method we, we are not preferring. So we are placing the specimen in this manner, in a horizontal manner. And here the compressive strength is applied from the top. Over nearly two-third portion of the total diameter of the cylinder is getting load. Uh, when the load is applied, it starts to split into two halves. The load at which it uh, breaks will stop the load point there itself. That P is the load. So the split tensile strength we will be calculating using the formula 2P by pi dl where P is the compressive load what we are giving. D is the diameter of the specimen. L is the length of the specimen. This diameter and length uh, we know already that is 150 by 300 mm size. Load uh, when it is breaking we will just stop it and we will uh, Find out what is the load showing in that uh, testing machine. So the advantage of the split tensile test over the direct uh, tensile test is the same mold can be used for both compression and tensile strength also. It is very easy to perform this test. This is all about the compression and tensile strength of the hardened concrete. Thank you.